nice grab sample here with pyrite and calcopyrite. But we got some better samples here. This is a vein we recently found. Quartz, sulfides, mineralized quartz. Loads and loads of sulfides. We're just going to scour this area a little bit and uh, see if we can not find a few more samples like this. I saw something interesting right here. You have a small little section here where you got uh, staining from copper sulfides, malachite staining. So obviously there's some kind of mineral in your post rock as well, because you can see calcopyrite in there. That's what the mineral looks like in your quartz vein, pyrite, calcopyrite, and there is some free mill AU in here. We're going to break open a bunch of samples that we just hammered off, take a look at them. Disseminated calcopyrite and pyrite. Wouldn't doubt if there's some free mill AU in there, looks like it. Anyway, we got some more samples. Got a couple small samples here of the quartz vein. Show you another little piece there. And then the solid mineral vein is there. Down on my feet. Your vein is exposed again. There you have sulfides running with quartz, and you have magnetite and rusty bullets or casings. So very interesting. We'll have to chase this. So here, you have magnetite, pyrite, calcopyrite, and this is in the bottom portion of the vein in between your sulfide vein here. There's your magnetite, there's your quartz, solid sulfide vein there as well.
Anyway, I think we got enough samples here. We've already had this analyzed, but we want to do one more. So we're going to pick and choose some pieces from the the schistos rock, not the quartz vein, the schist with free mill gold and sulfides and we want to see what that comes back for values.